계속. 계속. <웃음> to get drafted, being laughed at start of the NFL, and going to be one of the best teams in the NFL, that was a great feeling. All right, my name is Frank Gore. I'm chilling today here with Kenzo and my lady Fendi. And this is Meet the Pats. When I went to San Fran, we was the sorriest team in the league. It took me, what, six, seven years to go to the playoffs. Well, I was happy that the lights went off because it kind of helped us that we was getting killed by Baltimore. I think we came in too cocky. And, you know, when the lights went off, we started talking to ourselves and you know, warming up. and. You could tell that with the belly team, we just didn't get it done. Every time I go back to the Bay, it showed me so much love, man. And I'm happy I got drafted there. Like I tell them, I always will bleed red and gold. I can't wait till I get back into the front office because I feel like I'm a part of the team again. And when I get back there, I will help our team be successful. My third or fourth year, I started Boston, putting it in for uh, training for football. Because as a running back, the older you is, the heavier your legs get. So I used it in Boston for conditioning. And I think that's one of the reasons, you know, I was able to play 16 years. I do want to get in the ring again. Kenzo will play running back. Kenzo built like a tank, you know, for Frenchie, he, he pretty built Frenchie. Fendi will play slot receiver if she had to play in the NFL. I say Fendi probably faster. Uh, he don't like that. Kenzo, I had him for about a year right now. My brother's the one breed, Frenchies. And uh, he brought him over because he knew my kids were going to want one. My youngest son, Masayo, kept playing with Kenzo. And it was time for my brother to leave. He had to take the, take the puppies. And Masayo went and stopped crying. And, you know, I had to go get, I had to go buy one. You know, I think that's one of the best things I did because I love him like he's one of my kids. I also have Fendi. She a girl, French Bulldog. She like eight months. My kids will me in to get another one because the way it looked, the way the color, the eyes. But I will say she's smart. She kind of caught on to with not using the bathroom, you know, inside the house. But you know, she's very playful. She like the, she like attention. She like to steal all the attention from Kenzo. So that's why she's not here right now because we won't be able to get this story done. You know, I enjoy her. She. Uh, a little while, she not chill like Kenzo, but she'll be there one day. The crazy thing, I never did like dogs. I mean, one day um, he got out the yard and kind of got lost. I almost cried like a baby. My girl really was crying. I couldn't believe it because she didn't like dogs either. That's the only time I've been scared. Like, and that's when I realized, like, man, you know, because I used to always be like, why are people crazy about dogs? And so when I got him and when he got away, that's when I realized, like, oh, I see why, because, you know, they they become your family. They become like one of your child. If I can fall in love with them, you definitely will. I started playing football since I was four years old. I was too young to play at the time. My mom changed my birth certificate to play at the Southwest Boys Club. You know, I just used to love playing because I used to play in our neighborhood, you know, play throw a touch, throw a tackle. And I always used to play with the big boys. And, you know, to be the youngest one out there, I had I used to have success. My first game playing running back, I had like eight touchdowns. You know, I just, that's how I went from there, you know. I would say my running back coach, he pushed me every day to be the best. Cause he felt like if you're the best on the team, you got to show it every day. It made high school football easy for me because the way I went about it every day in practice, um, and it just carried over. What stands out, me getting drafted because what I had to deal with before I got drafted, two knee surgeries, and you know us running back. If you don't got knees, you can't play. You can't go to the NFL, and the injuries I had, a lot of people couldn't get back. That was a blessing. Me playing the most now is from God and me hard working how much I love, how much I love the game. The week my mom passed, it was a tough week for me. You know, I decided to stay with the team to play that Sunday. You know, that whole week was fake, you know, just because what was going on. Every day it just felt like a dream, you know, and for me to stay up there and not go home, to go out there, go to war with my, you know, with my teammates. And for me to score the, a touchdown, like to put us on top to win the game. And the way I scored, you know, I know she was on the field, and especially on that play. That was the most memorable touchdown I ever scored. My son, 
My name is Frank Gore Jr. I go to the University of Southern Miss, play running back. Very natural. Remind me of me so much that it's crazy when I watch this game. You know, I'm nervous when I'm watching them, but it feels so good, man, to see your, my older son in college, you know, doing his thing. Hopefully, God bless him to reach his dream and that's good to the NFL. And I'll be, you know, I'd be proud to have. Hey, thank you guys for watching me, Kendo, my girl Fendi, on Meet the Pets.